Welcome back everybody to another episode of building a zoo in Minecraft. This is episode number two. My name is XP Gamer. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys, you guys are doing fabulous today. I am doing fantastic today. And I have been a busy, busy little zoo zookeeper here. I have done some building over here. And not much. Remember at the end of last episode I said we would, or I would uh, be doing some stuff off camera before the next episode? Well, I did do that. I did finish the walls around this exhibit here, and I think it looks really cool. Now, it's not done yet, but I also took it a step further and did the path that leads all the way over to there. Now, there's something different that I changed with the path. Actually, a couple things. One is I changed up the limestone. I wasn't really a big, big fan of how the limestone looked, so I switched it out with this marble. And this is marble, marble trotted bricks that you make with the chisel, and I think it looks really, really cool. Hello, guys. You Cody Mundies over there. And also the diorite. This is still diorite, but it's different. It's also the trotted bricks. And, yes, so I have this coming back down, wrapping around down here. And this is the part over here that I did not finish right up here. Yeah, I, I ran out of marble, and it's going to come back up here and wrap around this way. And this fence is temporary. I want to get an iron fence. Uh, let's see, look at this. So, like, one of these, I think they look... Well, actually, no, that's the Minecraft one. I think you could chisel these. Minecraft fences, let's see. Ooh. Bottom line is, this, this fence type is temporary, and it's going to wrap around down here. And I would think probably right here is where it would stop, so it would have, like, an extra block up here. Or, or two. I don't know. And just make it look cool. And right here is, like I said in the last episode, we'll have, like, a little viewing window. And I think that looks really, really cool. Now, in today's episode, um, we are going to be introducing the... What was it? The American bison to the this exhibit. I have three. I have two females and a male. And we're also going to be decorating it up. And I'll be adding trees as part of the decoration and rocks and mix up the soil. Maybe it, give them shelter. You also have to give them enrichment items and all that stuff. And I'm going to add maybe like a little water pond area thing. Something. And yes. I also did terraforming, as you can see, right there. I think it looks really cool. Just a little small little cliff. I think it really fits this terrain nicely. And I also kind of flattened this area, smoothed all the uh, blemishes on this terrain over here. Because there will be exhibits and buildings here. And yes, I really like it so far. So, let's see. I guess we can... I guess we could... Actually, no, I want to decorate the, uh, the exhibit up more. So what I want to do is, well, I don't think I have enough iron anyway to do the fence. Well, maybe I do. I did go a uh, little bit of strip mining, so I got a little bit more iron, gold, diamonds, a ton of redstone, and lapis. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is what you could get with the chisel. They look really cool. Yeah, okay, so I'll make these iron bars. Yeah, just, just use all of it, I guess. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, and then we grab chisel. And, yeah, I wanted to do this and just see how these look. Also, before I go over there, I do want to plant some trees. Instead of building the trees, we can plant the trees. So let's go over here. I got some uh, more supplies here. So I got some coarse dirt. Just, not much. Just 16. I'm going to need a little bit more for the inside here. I also brought cobblestone to just make boulders out of them. And some of these fan palms just as vegetation. I just want to see how these look. Yeah, they look pretty good. I like them. So what we could do is bring these up like so. And... I'm going to need some more of these blocks. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just line this down here. And so they can't jump out. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can't jump out from here. Well, maybe maybe they can climb up here and then just... Huh. I'll probably just do... Probably just do that then. Because they won't be able to make that jump. So it should be fine. And I'm not going to make it... I don't want to obstruct the view too much. 
but just you know keep it just too high here and then when it goes down each elevation it goes down bring it down but it's not going to go down any further here and then here let's see probably with this glasses so one I would do like one two and then so yeah that'll be like that I think that looks pretty cool over here I am not quite sure what to do maybe we could raise that up yeah that's probably what I'll do is raise this raise this two blocks up and then we can get rid of the fence on this side because this will be like the main viewing area right here and then bring this around okay yeah I really like that oh that's really cool yeah I do like that now we do I just came to my mind that we do need an entrance to this exhibit just like you know many uh, exhibits in real life zoos they have an entrance um, but it'll probably be a you know a private entrance uh, so it's not public to visitors um, maybe we go underground like we enter a trapdoor and like just go underground or something like that like maybe there's like a trapdoor system here that leads to a door or maybe there's a staircase down I don't know I'll figure it out off camera the other side over here where this pathway is now finished I'll finish this off camera so, so yeah that'll be all done off camera I'll finish the glass wall over there off camera and yes, but what I'm going to do on camera is I'm going to do a little bit of mixing in of the quartz dirt, adding some boulders. Also brought buttons for the boulders to make it more detailed and adding some vegetation with these fan palms and bone mealing it. And I'm also going to try to plant these dark oak acorns to make the big dark oak trees. Because that's the type of tree I kind of want in this area. I don't want like an oak tree because that's too normal here. I don't want... Like an acacia tree because, you know, this is not a savanna type biome. And I don't really want like swamp trees or willow trees. I think uh, dark oak would be pretty nice. Now, where could we put one? Let's maybe put one right here. How do you do this? Oh, you just plant it. Now, how much? Okay, just plant the one. Ooh, okay, it's already growing. So maybe one can go there. And one can go here. Maybe that's a little too close. Let's put it right there. Should we have a third one? Maybe. Just maybe. Put a third one, like, right there. Okay, so that'll be the shelter for them. Or, like, the uh, shade, I guess. I do need a place for them for their food. So I'll set that up. Maybe we can plant these fan palms. Just maybe around the trees. Maybe one right there. One here. One right there. And then we just bone meal this area. Get rid of all the dandelions. That aren't flowers. Actually, I probably should put in the coarse dirt first and the boulders before I do this. That would be kind of a wise idea. And just kind of scatter the coarse dirt around. Like a so. Now there is an area, if I just look on the map there is an area I believe like right here that has coarse dirt in the savanna area it has to be like a mountainous area yeah like up here has coarse dirt so I'll go venture out for that um, but yes it's gonna scatter this around uh, yeah I'm gonna need a lot more coarse dirt and before I bone mill I'm gonna be like I said adding the coarse dirt in and the boulders and I'll uh, should be good oh and we do need the water too so yeah let me do all this stuff and I'll give you guys an update just want to take a peek at these guys real quick just to see what in like enrichment they have okay so scratching post I don't think we need all of these okay so this is their diet I believe Ooh, guys kind of, kind of close here I believe we just put that in a barrel scratching post enrichment ball oh sorry bud hold on here hold on here uh, hanging ball tire swing and brush so maybe we make maybe like two of those and just more random information here so yeah, this is their diet. Okay, scratching post, I'll probably do. Okay, and there is a tiger over there that 
Is he chasing me? He is not. It looked like he was chasing me there for a sec. Okay, so I'm going to continue on my little adventure here for the course dirt. I just wanted to swing by these guys over here. And those guys seem like they're having a fun. Or that guy seems like he's having a fun time in the tree over there. But yeah, I just wanted to swing over here before I... Woo! Oh, you're a raccoon. I hate raccoons. <laughs> oh, that giraffe is just having a time of his life over there. <laughs> oh man, these animals do weird things when they're like on top of like trees or stuff. It's pretty funny. Ah, uh, yeah. See, look at that guy. Just, just chilling. Eh, completely normal. Nice elephants. Jeez, he packs a punch. Ooh, this this animal didn't have a uh, fun end. What is this? Oh, it's a tortoise shell raw reptile meat. Oh, poor tortoise. These, I believe, are toucans, right? Yeah, toucans. And a nice parrot over here. Or a macaw. That's a macaw. I'm definitely going to have a bird sanctuary for these nice little tropical birds. I love birds, man. They're the best, especially parrots. They're awesome animals. Let's see. Where am I here? I have to go way more this way. Because I, I decided to go this way because there's a bigger patch of course there it looks like over there. And it's closer to my uh, zoo or base over here. Instead of going over here for that little patch. And like all the way up there. Okay. I have made it. This is going to be scarred. <laughs> oh man. I'm going to need a lot of this course dirt for a, not just the exhibit we're currently making. But for future exhibits. So I'm just going to be spending a lot of time here just gathering all this. Probably, probably four stacks or as much as my shovel can handle right now. Which seems to be a little over two or a little over one stack. Jesus. These animals are not friendly. Okay, well, that was the last of the shovel. We just got barely over a stack and a half, which it, it should be fine for, a, for like two exhibits. So I'll make my way back to the base, and I'll do some more progress on it. Okay, I think that should be good here. So I want to plant some of these little plants here. So like the legumi. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I don't know. Temple bells, the golden sparks, and the bell flower. There's there's a there's a lot of these in the in the world. Just plant them here, here and there. Probably want them around the rocks. Yes. And maybe put one. Let's put one right there. This will be where the water will go so they can you know take a bath right in front of the visitors oh this looks really nice oh that looks that looks really cool yeah so let me dig this out it'll only be one deep uh because i'm afraid if it's too deep they might drown <laughs> so yeah it's only gonna be one deep and you know they can come here in here whenever they want at any time and yes, I still have to raise this up, like I said. I'll do that off camera. And yes, so let me dig this out and I'll bone meal and then I'll get back to you guys again. So what I'm thinking is we have the pond. I want the scratching post maybe like closer to this area. Wow, that is big. Uh, closer to this area so, you know, visitors can see it. And maybe the ball can go there. And I guess what? <laughs> you know what? Oh. I don't even know what they do with that. I, I don't even know. They can't make that jump, can they? I hope not. The trees are growing nice. And, man, this is looking really cool. I do need a place to store their food. Or, like, kibble, I guess. Barrel. Okay, so just planks. Like, just regular kibble? I have regular kibble. Yes, well, I do. So yeah, just planks. Let me get that. Goes like this. Okay, so we got two barrels. So I'll just put one right here. And the other one I could put right over. Probably on this side. Right here. So we got two. And we just fill this with food. Okay, now is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. And the moment I have been waiting for. Three. American bison, I also have two Galapagos tortoises and one Bengal tiger. Okay, oh, I also have to tame them. So I have to smack them with the book to see what they can be tamed with, as well as being fed. Okay, 
enough with the uh, stalling. Let's let's place. Okay, he's still tranquilized. Okay, let's hit him with the book real quick. Okay, this one's the male. He is quirky. Ungulate kibble. Ungulate vial he's bred with. Tamed with ungulate kibble. Okay, this is his diet. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Okay. Uh, let's see, real quick. I believe I have that. Ungulate kibble. Apples, carrots. Yeah, I have this regular kibble. And the vial uh, potions. And you could also get them from these, uh, I guess, wandering zookeepers that spawn randomly in the world. You could trade with them. But yes, I'm going to make this kibble, I think. Or ungula kibble. Yeah, I have it right here. Uh, let's see. What was it again? It was apples, carrots, seeds, kibble, and wheat. I have seeds. I have carrots. I, I don't have apples. No. I have wheat and kibble. I just need the stinking apples. Ooh. Oh, I thought you could just left click. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 so we tranquilized the- Oh, oh, man, that boy is, uh, very mad. Oh, okay, I was gonna pick him up again, but, okay, apparently I have to hit him with the tranquilizer gun. Before I could pick- <laughs> Okay. Oh, this guy is out of control. <laughs> I just took over half my life there. <laughs> oh... Are we friends? Are we cool, pal? Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. We're fine. Okay. So, uh, I am all out of potatoes. I'm all out of my potatoes. Okay, so I believe, let's see, just get this crafting grid. It was like this. It was like that. It was like this, that, and I think the carrots went there. Yes! Angula kibble. Okay, we need a lot. So we only have 10, and, oh, sweet, first try, okay, so let me just, friends forever, nice, okay, so that's his food bar, I have to fill him up with food, water, he's fine, what is, it? I guess that's happiness, stay, wander, follow, release, stay, and he can wander, zookeeper is me, Quirky guy. Seems quirky. Okay, I gotta get hay bales. I don't have any melons. I don't know if I have any pumpkins. Okay, wheat. We've got the enrichment. Just more hitch history about the bison. Dude. 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 <laughs> He's claimed this rock is his own. Oh, man. Okay, let me get more wheat. I do have a nice little wheat field set up right over here, as well as carrots and potatoes. For, you know, kibble I need. And just for food for myself. So I'll definitely be farming this up. Oh, he is sleeping very awkwardly on this little... <laughs> on this little rock here. Let's just see. Dude, dude, you have water. You have water over there. Uh-oh. This is going to be annoying, I would think, to keep up with. <gasps> no. Is there like a water barrel? I could that I need for animals. Like a water feeder. A water bowl. Okay, I'll make a water bowl. Don't worry, bud. Yeah, you really like that rock, don't you? Okay, so I have one food barrel here. Actually, you know what? This is a lot of hay bales. I'm just gonna break this down. Put, you know, 64 in there. That is not nearly enough. And 64. Oh, oh, excuse me, tree. 64 over here. I need to make the water bowl. Man, these, these animals are going to be a lot to take care of. I think you can get zookeepers as well. Zookeeper. Yeah, I think I have to find them. Hmm. Oh, well. One day we'll get them. Okay, I got the two water bottle, water bottles, water bowls, so we can place one here. Now, question is, how do we fill this up? I would think, yes, just like that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Now we can. How do I get water out of here? Oh, that's really cool. Put one right there, like so. Uh, fill this back up. Okay. 
And oh, I'm going to try and get this guy off this rock here. So we could actually... What the heck? Oh, oh, that's, a, that's enrichment, I think he's liking. And oh, oh, oh my gosh. Do I have to refill that again? He, okay, so it looks like... Here, let me smack him again. So he's eaten? Or he's ate? Oh, and he's... Oh, he's ate grass. Okay. Man, this is going to be a lot of work. Hey, hey, dude, settle down. Settle down, dude. Okay, here, let's see. Let's just take this. Boom. This is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a lot of work. Oh, come on! I just... Oh! Oh, no! Let's see what he does. Just, are you full yet? He's at. Oh my god. This is. There's got to be a better solution to this. Oh, this is crazy. I'm. I'm almost out of water. Oh my goodness. Oh! Did it again? Oh, he's water happy now. This is, this is not right. This is not right. Oh. He has a little pool down here. Hmm. Oh, well. There's got to be a way around this, right? I don't know. But, let's see. Let's just re regrow this. There we go. That should be fine. Oh, he's loving it. He is loving all this stuff. Oh, he's eating the grass. <sighs> Still at 11. This is going to be torture, isn't it? Oh, he's eating already. Here, let me move this. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, I just broke that. And I didn't get the stupid item back. <laughs> oh, I have to... Okay, you know what? You... you, you... Fine, that's your new area there. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I need you to move. You're at seven. Come on, find it. Use your pathfinding. Use your little brain there to find the water. Go, go, go. Swim it. Sw swim in it if you have to. Oh, come on, please. Go, go, go. You like water. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's, yep. Yeah, he's, he's, he's already, uh, this is what I'll do. Just keep doing this. And it's getting night time. Go. Go. I don't want you dying on me. I need to make a cauldron. You're not allowed out until this bar gets up to full. <laughs> ah, man. Maybe I should put a water source, like, up there. Okay, he's fine on food and water. He just needs enrichment now. Okay. Okay, buddy, you're, you're free to go. You're free. Roam around. Come on. Okay, I might need to move the enrichment, too. Um, but anyway, that's this is going to be a work in progress. Okay, everybody. So a few things have happened since our last clip together. Uh, one thing is that you could see here, I am experimenting with uh, different blocks for this pathway here, as well as this little wall here that will be part of a couple exhibits. I'm just experimenting with blocks just to see what other ideas I have. I, I do like the marble, um, and I also do like the die right here. For, I just saw uh, like a really, had a really good idea uh, for using marble in other areas, um, as you can see here, as like a border for exhibits. And if my thinking to changing that out is see all this white here <laughs> it kind of looks kind of weird with the marble the diorite and the marble here i mean it looks okay it's not the worst but i think it might be even cooler if we decided if i decided to switch up some of these blocks so if i do uh, have an exhibit here that is enclosed in marble you know there's different colors so that's one idea i'm playing with it i, it, I mean i don't know i'm kind of throwing stuff up in the air right now this uh, is subject to change um, but another thing that happened is you know I'm coming over here checking on this guy here and you can see that uh, 
he's no longer with us. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Uh, I tried, guys. Um, now, he does have enough water. He does. He has enough enrichment. He has enough food. But he w somehow died of dehydration. And that's because when I found him, he was on top of that tree for I don't know how long. And he must have found his way... Well, obviously, he found his way climbing up that tree. He was on top of this tree, I believe. And... Unless he climbed up there. But I might have to, like, shave some of these rocks down or get rid of them completely. Because that guy must have climbed this tree up here. And he was just standing on top of that tree. And I just saw him take damage. And I tried to save him by, you know, carefully pushing him off the tree. And he just, uh... <laughs> I have his remains right here. <laughs> so, yeah. But I also, off camera... Well, I did some decorating by adding these uh, trash cans. They're really cool. And there's other things I want to add, like fancy lights and benches and foliage. But another thing I said I would do is raise this up, which I did. This um, the, uh, visible enclosure looking wall here. I don't know what you call it. And then I finished the pathway wrapping around here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep this marble or not. I also had an idea. It's just straight granite these granite bricks look really really cool and we can narrow down the pathways just this little bit more it's just slightly and let me just change out a section here maybe narrow it down a little bit more as well so we'd have something like this where the it would just be solid granite and i would have to fix this but it would just look like this yeah it's it's not bad um i did raise it up uh, so we don't have to, you know, dip another light so it's not too up and down. Uh, it would make the wall look better. But, yeah, I did raise it up. So I'm going to have to fill this in with grass. Um, but, yeah, I do like this. Now, what one thing that might make this look even better is if we take our chisel here, throw this guy in, and we find a different variant of bricks to mix in. Uh, so that's what I'm using right now. And I wanted to, wanted to stay with the brick theme here. So, I guess we can go with these guys. Maybe we could have a couple different variants of these bricks in, of granite. I do like the color. I like the color. We have to uh, stay away from gray because there's a lot of gray in Minecraft as it is, and I'm going to try and stay away from white, because I want to use white as decorative and for the walls of exhibits and all that stuff. So let me just mix this in. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, I like that. That, that looks really cool. And we'll just obviously go down the line here. So that obviously means I have to replace that whole pathway over there. That I just did, but yeah, it's fine. I'm going through a lot of iron pickaxes. We're going to have to upgrade soon <laughs> to diamond pickaxes. And in fact, you know what? I'll just do this on camera right now because I do have enough diamonds. And I believe, yeah, I have thir 13 diamonds. I believe I have a couple books. Yes. And there might be more. I have obsidian. You guys know where I'm going with this? <laughs> I'm making an enchanting table. Oh, yes. It's something I really desperately need. Oh, yeah, I did go adventuring uh, off, like, in that direction just to look for new biomes. I did find a jungle biome down here. So I got a new different wood type, and it went all the way down here. I was just basically looking for plants and different biomes and maybe some new animals. But I think it's in here. Yeah, more obsidian here. Yeah, more books there. Yeah, more diamonds. Yeah, a lot of new stuff. Yeah, and more wood. Okay, so I'm going to make an enchanting table set up real quick. Okay, just place it in the final couple bookshelves. Uh, yeah, that's good. To level 30. So we have ourselves an enchanting station, and we can make a pick. Now, I'm two levels short, <laughs> unfortunately, of level 30, but that's okay. I, can, I could easily get two levels. Um, so that shouldn't be that bad. So I'll just save this pick until we reach level 30. Uh, I think, th yeah, we need lapis, which I do have. Yeah, I have a good, good amount of lapis. So yeah, I am going to basically fix or finish uh, doing this uh, pathway here. And I'll 
come back to you guys with an update. Okay guys, so you can see I have 30 levels here, just from basically mining a bunch of coal, a little bit of redstone and lapis. I also got more iron and gold. Uh, while I was down there mining um, for more granite to finish this over here, which is not done yet. Uh -huh. But I came back on just to do another, uh, to just show you guys an enchantment of the pickaxe right here. And while we're at it, I guess we could smelt some of this iron that I have here because, you know, yet again, my iron pick is about to break. So it's a really good time to uh, enchant this. Okay. Ooh, efficiency three. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but... Oh, please don't just be efficiency three, though. Oh, <laughs> oh great. It's just... Just efficiency three! <sighs> well, oh my gosh. Well, we got a good pick at least. Or, yeah, Decent. It's better than this one, though. And I guess I'll use the last uses of those. Anyway, I'll get back to what I was doing there. I just wanted to show you guys that and give you guys an update. And I'll get back to this. Okay, guys, so I did swap out uh, the marble for the granite and finish this. Well, almost finished it. There's a little section that I did not finish uh, because I ran out of granite. But, uh, yeah, it actually does look really cool. I do like this a lot. Um, so I think the uh, color difference with the, uh, I guess, red tint uh, pinkish block matches really well with the gray. And the green and the pure white we have there. And honestly, I like this way better than what I had before. And we come up here. Now, This, these slabs are temporary. I think I'm changing, out, changing them out to uh, bricks. Regular bricks because there are no granite slabs in this game. But regular bricks is what is the closest thing to granite uh, in this version of Minecraft. And we just come up here. I do like this little section here. And yeah. I have this all basically switched out. It's five wide here. I um, extended this marble area or a marble, what is this, marble pillar out here. That's just like a little border. Uh, I'll probably put like a tree here or something. And then it comes down here like it did and wraps around here. There'll be like an exhibit here, an exhibit over there. And then it comes up these stairs. And this is the part over here that I did not quite finish yet. I need a little bit more granite for that. But that I'll get done off camera. But yes, I do really like this. And then here, the reason why I'm extending this, these uh, marble pillars over to here. There's going to be an exhibit here. And I don't know how really it's going to work with the terrain like this. I, I mean, I guess we could make it work. Like it could slope. Yeah, just like this one, we could have this one slope down as well. Yeah, so we'll have an exhibit here, maybe one over there. And another thing I want to do is I found these new type of iron fences that act as a regular wooden fence, but like it looks like an iron fence, uh, if that made any sense. Uh, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's this powder fence, so I just need steel bars, which is a lot of iron, and... An ink sack, which I don't think I have. Okay, yeah. So, uh, we'll probably experiment that with next in the next episode. But, yeah, one more thing I want to do is I have to clear out my inventory. That's, that's one thing I have to do. And there are some things that I do like to show you in there that I added. Um, so, I did add a cauldron here for water. So, it's like a bigger source. Dang it. <laughs> um... Don't don't left or left click on that. Yeah, that holds more water than uh, these water bowls. Man, that does, that sucks. Um, but yeah, I wanted to refill that, and so there is no possible way these trees will keep on growing. Hopefully, oh, this one did expand out. Okay, I might have to. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this. Might have to remove the stones here in general. Um, but 
hopefully there is no possible way on the other three trees that these bison can somehow climb up here. Um, but yeah, so I have a watering pool up here and obviously one down there as you saw. So let's release these guys. So there's one. Is this the male or the female? It is the female. Okay. There is two. Is this the male? It is also the female. Oh, darn. So the male is the one we lost. Okay. We'll probably bury it somewhere. Bury his, uh, rem <laughs> his remains. Um, but can I tame these guys while they're tranquilized? I can. Oh, come on, guy. There we go. One left. And let's just wait for them to wake up and welcome them to the, our, their new enclosure. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. They're, yeah, they're both. Oh, oh. <laughs> they're excited to be awake. They eat from the grass here. They could also eat from this barrel. I have to fill this up a lot more. You could also use the uh, watering bowl. He has a nice watering source over here. And this guy, obviously, down there. So they'll hopefully roam around uh, freely and, you know, have a good time in here <laughs> and not be stupid like the other one and climb the tree and die um but yeah anyway um in the next episode i do plan to do two more exhibits one will be right here it'll be a circular exhibit and you guys will just have to tune into the next episode to see what that exhibit will be but it's gonna be a fairly large exhibit here it'll be yeah circular like i said and uh i think i might do this one over here or maybe one right here, this half water, or it'll probably be 70% water, 30% land exhibit here. Pretty big. Um, but yeah, so that's the, that's what's coming in the next episode. More building, a lot more building. Hopefully off camera I build a shelter, and also off camera um, I'll finish the pathway and, yeah, build the shelter for myself. But yeah, anyway, guys, with all that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys uh, found it very entertaining. But anyway, guys, if you did like it this episode, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And it'll be much appreciated if you did. It'll uh, let me know that you guys are enjoying this series and this episode. And it'll encourage me to make more videos. But yeah, anyway, guys, give this a thumbs up. And if you're new, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And until next time, guys, take care and have yourselves a good day.